Hey, this is Danny from Weird and Wired, and this is a My First Sony Tape Deck Drum Machine. Not too long ago, I did a video showing how I modified a My First Sony Tape Deck into a lo-fi, dirty, fuzzy guitar amp, and not long after that video, I found myself with three more My First Sony Tape Decks, and this is the one I was most excited about because it has a drum machine built into it. When I say drum machine, I mean, it's got buttons that you press and they make drum sounds. And they also make animal sounds. Unfortunately, when I got this my first Sony, the tape deck wasn't working, so I couldn't play tapes or record to tape, which is a huge shame because I was really, really intrigued to know whether you could record your own little drum beats straight onto tape. I've made a couple of modifications to this, so I thought I would talk you through what I've done and then try to make my first song with my first Sony. So this takes four C-size batteries, and to power this up, we just hit play. And originally there'd just be two volumes. We've got one independent volume for just the sound pad, which is our drum machine, and another volume, which is a master volume for both the tape deck and the sound pad. And with the modification I've done to turn this into an amp, I have used the wires from the tape head and attached a quarter inch jack to them. This makes a really, really blown out fuzzy guitar sound. But to give it a little bit more control, I've added another volume, just a potentiometer. So the jack goes to the potentiometer and then to the wires that would connect to the tape head. This just gives a little bit more control over how harsh the guitar sound can get. I've also added a speaker out, so you can use either the built-in speaker or as I'm gonna do in this case, I'm gonna use the dry signal from the My First Sony straight into my recording interface. I'm not gonna add any EQ or compression or anything like that, just the dry sound. I'm gonna layer up some drum sounds. I'm gonna put a gnarly fuzzy guitar over the top and let's see what we come up with. So a couple of things getting started with this. You really don't need a lot of volume. The master volume on this is about halfway. The sound pad is all the way up and the gain on my Focusrite interface that this is going straight into is about quarter of the way and it is coming in nice and clear. The sounds on this are also monophonic, meaning you can only really play one at a time. So for that reason, I'm gonna lay down sort of a kick and snare sort of rhythm, and then I might go and overdub some cymbals and a tom. This, this does say it has two toms, tom one and tom two, which I gotta say, tom two, sounds a lot more like a closed hi-hat to my ears, but you let me know what that sounds like to you. Um, but even though this is monophonic, and as I say, you can only play one sound at a time, you can get a little bit creative, certainly with the open hi-hat and crash sounds, you can get a sort of choked sort of sound like that. So again, the only limitation is your imagination, but let me yeah, get this song rolling with a little uh, kind of kick snare rhythm. So that's the basic rhythm down. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put down some uh, cymbals and hi-hats. As I said before, this tape deck modification generally would sound like this. Very blown out, very fuzzy, but adding this volume potentiometer really helps take off some of that harshness and gives you a little bit more variety. That's about halfway with the volume. Quarter. And obviously, you're 
throwing down the volume on the guitar as well can benefit and that is all just through the built-in speaker using an external speaker or straight into an interface can really get those cleans even cleaner <laughs> So there we have it, the My First Sony Tape Deck Guitar Amp slash Drum Machine. I think all of the My First Sony range is just so beautifully designed, really functional as well. I mean, this sort of stuff is designed to be used by kids. It's designed to take a beat in. It's designed to be thrown around. And yeah, I mean, they, they certainly, this thing is from the mid to late 80s and it's still going strong now. I find the same with the Play School tape decks that I've worked on in the past. Really, really, really cool stuff. But we're talking really cool stuff. There's something that is possibly cooler than the My First Sony tape deck drum machine. Whilst doing a bit of research on the My First Sony range, I found this a My First Sony tape deck drum machine enamel pin, seemingly, but all of the models that there are, there are also enamel pins you can get of each My First Sony model. I absolutely love it. It's so niche and so specific. I had to get one to commemorate this project. I would love to know what you guys think of this project, the My First Sony Tape Deck Drum Machine, whether you've had one of these from your childhood, whether you still have one now, whether you had a different My First Sony, or whether this is a modification you've tried for yourself or you're eager to try out for yourself. You let me know all your thoughts and feelings, and until the next time, keep it weird and keep it wired.